Welcome to FreshMaya.com. My name is Eric and this is part two of our basic calculator. We are going to create some UVs for our calculator. Before I do that, since I'm not going to do anything else with this calculator, I'm going to go ahead and select everything, go to Edit, Delete by Type, History. That frees up a little bit of memory in Maya because it doesn't have to memorize everything we've done to it so far. I'm going to create some layers. I'm going to create one, two, three layers. I'm going to double click on layer one. I'm going to rename it to layer underscore buttons. Click save. Double click layer two. Change the name to layer underscore glass. Save. I'm going to click layer, double click layer three and change its name to layer underscore body. Save. All right, I'm going to select our buttons. I'm going to right click on this layer buttons over here, my layer editor. I'm going to right click, add selected objects. I'm going to select the body. Right click on the body layer. Right click, add selected objects. So I can hide those two now. And I'm going to select the glass panes. Right click on my layer glass, add selected objects. All right, let's start with, now the glass, we're not gonna add any textures to it. All we're gonna do is add a material and give it some transparency, nothing fancy. So let me hide that. The body, we're actually gonna add some textures that we're gonna create, so we need to do some texture mapping on it. I'm gonna select it. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look down here at the bottom left-hand corner of my view panel at my axis. There's a blue Z, a green Y, and a red X. If you don't see that in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen, you can go up to your display menu, down to Heads Up Display, and click on View Axis. Once you see that, what you need to do is look to see which axis is going through your calculator perpendicular to the face. So if I lay my calculator down like this, where it's flat, I want to know which axis is cutting through my calculator. And right now, the Y is pointing up and down. So I need to remember Y. My calculator is selected. I'm going to go up to the Create UV, and that's underneath the Polygon menu sets. Create UV, Planner Mapping, open up my Options box. I'll do an Edit, Reset Settings, and all I'm going to do is click on the axis that was cutting through my calculator, which for me was Y. So I'm going to click on the Y axis under Project From. I'm going to click on Project. It creates a projection that's laying flat on top of the face of our calculator, which is exactly what I want. All right, I'm going to go to Object Mode, go to Edit UVs, down to UV Texture Editor. It's going to open up this window. I can maneuver inside this window the same way I can maneuver inside of my view panel. So it's just the same thing. Our UVs are pointing sideways. I want my calculator to be pointing up and down and not left and right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on any of those lines. I'm just going to right click, select UV, and I'm just going to click and drag across all of them like so. Now you can also do this. You can select, just click anywhere, select one of the UVs which are usually at the points just like a vertices would be. So I'm going to click on one and then I can control, hold my control button down right click and select uh, to shell and it selects the whole thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to this menu bar up here. There's a couple of buttons. There's a rotate counterclockwise and a rotate clockwise. All I'm going to do is just going to click it and rotate it to where it's facing the right way, at least the way I want it to be. I'm going to use my scale tool. You can just go over here to your toolbox and click on rotate, move, or scale, whichever one. Scale, and I'm just going to scale it in so it looks more like our calculator. And once I get it looking the way I want it to, I'm just going to use my move tool and I'm going to move it out of the way. I don't want it inside this upper right hand corner of this grid, at least not for now. So I'm just going to go over here and pull it out of the way. I'm like, I can close out that window now. Go back to our calculator, go back to object mode. So we're in object mode. This time I'm going to select. these faces and these faces. Make sure I didn't get anything else. Yeah, there we go. Alright, now that I've got those selected, 
I am going to do the same thing. Go to Create UV and Planner Mapping. Creates our map and go back to Object Mode, Edit UVs, open up my UV Texture Editor. And now I'm just going to do the same thing. It's pointing the wrong way, so I'm going to right click, go to UV, click and drag across all of them. I'm going to rotate it. And now I'm just going to scale it down to move it over. I'm just roughly going to let me zoom in here so you can see better. I'm just going to scale this so it looks kind of like where they would be out of here. So scale that. Something like that. And again, it doesn't have to be exact. If you want it exact, you could put it on top and then start scaling it. Like so. Just be careful when you do that because if you let go, then you'll have to like, get your vertices again. But if for some reason you did that and all of a sudden you let go of them and you're like uh oh just go ahead and right click UV select a UV anywhere now hold the control button down and right click and select to shell now if I move that out of the way it just moves the uh, calculator body and now we can get back to our display panes okay I'm gonna close that out